Hello there, welcome back to AI Cave. My name is AI Elias, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to fix Fallout 76. So, if you've been around the internet, I'm sure you have already seen all the negativity surrounding Fallout 76, all the impressions of the beta, and just how it's a buggy mess and stuff like that. But I have done my rant, and if you're interested in that, it's in the top right, go check it out. And if not, then uh, this video is for you. I want to be a little bit more positive in this one because, to be honest, I really do want Fallout 76 to succeed. And I think that it has the opportunity to succeed if Bethesda implements changes. So I don't think it will be good within the next year, but I think it could be good after that, though. You know, a lot of games aren't good at launch, but many times the developers will go in and they will fix the game. So let me talk about that, guys. Basically, this is kind of like a list of all the things that I see in Fallout 76 that need to be changed. I know your guys' list might be different, and if it is, be sure to go down in the comments section and tell me what that is because I am interested in hearing what other people think. So, my list is kind of ordered. The first things that I want to talk about are the most important things. These are kind of like changes that I think Bethesda should implement right away, and these should be top priority for them. Because without these things, the game is basically nothing, and nobody will want to play it, even in the state that it is currently. Number one is, of course, performance. So we've seen it in the beta, we've seen it in the private demos of the game. But the frame rates, they just suck. They're terrible. Those need to be fixed. I don't know how they would go about doing that, but just optimizing how everything is loaded in, stuff like that, that needs to happen for this game. In 2018, nobody will want to play a game at 15 frames per second. That's just awful. Uh, next, we have the enemy AI, and this is also really important because as I was playing it, and I'm sure you've seen it in my Fallout 76 rant, that the enemies are just stupid. Sometimes they'll ignore you, stuff like that. Other times they'll walk right by you and just not even care. That needs to be fixed as well. After that, we have the graphical issues. These are minor. This would be like the shadow, the lighting problems, the texture issues with the water, stuff like that. And finally, hit detection. Hit detection is really important. If you know, if you're not getting that feedback from the enemy that you shoot, it's not gonna feel right to you, and these issues need to be fixed. So after these performance issues, we have something that is really important. And you know, I was thinking about putting this at the top before performance, but I felt like these issues are a lot harder to fix. And these, of course, are the security and the exploit issues with the game. So first and foremost, you just have to encrypt network traffic. If other players can get a hold of other people's IPs, that is not safe at all. And that's currently an issue with the game, is that everything going into the server, it's not encrypted. Like, what the hell? This is kind of like a really basic thing that everyone should think about when creating a multiplayer game, but apparently, it's not there. There are plenty of YouTube videos talking about this, but they really need to have this. Now, I know that the engine, the creation engine, I know that it's not optimized for multiplayer gameplay, but come on, you gotta have this stuff. After that, we, of course, we have the cheating issues. We don't have any client-side cheat detection software in place right now. That really has to be there. Cheating, of course, is pretty rampant on PC, and of course, you'll know from games like PUBG, if players get the opportunity to hack, they will. After the client-side, of course, we need server-side cheat detection. I don't know if they have anything for this right now, but I'll just throw it on the list as well. Uh, if it is there, I'm sure I'm sure it's also not very good. Like, I'm, I know I'm being skeptical right now and I have absolutely nothing to back this up, but server-side cheat detection is important as well. And finally, wrapping up the list of immediate musts is UI. You gotta fix these UI issues, Bethesda. It's just not well optimized on PC, and of course that's what I'm playing it on. It might be better on the console, but for PC at least, there's issues like broken sliders, we have no FOV sliders, the key binding list is short, you can't change things like interaction keys with attack keys. They're bound together, which is just ridiculous. Camp menu, I have a question mark on this in my sort of script that I'm going through right now. It's not important for me, but I know it is for other players, and the menu there for PC is just terrible. And you really gotta split up the main menu and the map. I don't know why those two are combined together. That really should be a no-brainer, but in order to get into the main menu of the game, you have to first go into the map and then go into the main menu. 
Same with the settings too as well, actually. Those things really should be split up. I don't know why they're together like that. And that kind of rounds up the immediate slash necessary fixes that they need to do right before launch, and I don't know if they'll get through them all, but these are things that really have to be fixed as soon as possible. Next, I sort of want to go into the more long-term solutions to the game. Obviously, if you've seen any videos about it, you'll know that the gameplay is boring. That's sort of the general consensus of the player base right now. It's just boring. So let's talk about the gameplay first. My first issue with the game is with the quests. They need to add quests. They need to add NPCs, they need to write a good story, they need to minimize fetching, which is currently what the game is right now, just a bunch of fetch quests and follow quests, escort quests, stuff like that. Minimize fetching and include factions. Factions are important to Fallout, and I know that they have them, but there's nobody in them currently, so they have things like the first responders and stuff like that, like the Brotherhood. I'll talk about that in a moment, though. Uh, and once you have factions, you can add things like role-playing and choices, which is important to Fallout. I know it wasn't that big of a deal in Fallout 4, but trust me, it really does enhance the gameplay, and if you have role-playing and choices, it will go a long way towards making the game better. And just with that, just with those quest changes, the game could be phenomenal, but I want to keep going. We have PvE. We need to increase enemy damage so that the player doesn't feel like a tank. In a lot of these firefights, you get shot with a laser blast, and it takes, like, no damage off your health. Like, why? Along with that, we need to get better, smarter AI. Right now, they're just stupid. And I know I've already said this, but that really needs to get fixed. And create alternatives to combat. I know shooting is fun, I love shooting, and it's fun in fallouts, it, don't get me wrong, but if there can be like dialogue alternatives to it, that would be great. Sneaking's good and stuff like that, but you know, it's also not enough sometimes. So moving on from PvE, we'll head into PvP. This is also important, obviously it's a multiplayer game, PvP should be important. The problem is right now is that it's not. Nobody does it. So let's talk about some solutions to PvP. First off, allow players to kill on sight. It's a good idea in theory to, you know, let, let players choose their fights, but right now the player that shoots second has the advantage. Along with that though, you also have to create more incentives to fight. So have players drop better loot, have players lose something valuable, so that, you know, they're not just running around and interacting with each other oddly. And once you start adding PvP, you really need to polish up that netcode. Uh, it's annoying to get shot around corners, stuff like that. That's that's what happens when you have poor netcode. You get shot once you move behind cover, uh, because on the other player's screen, you're not in cover yet, so... It doesn't feel fair when you die. So they really have to fix that up. Uh, people jumping around the place, there can't be any of that. The last thing to kind of round out PvP is you need to reduce the stim pack healing rate. Because right now people can just take a stim pack in literally no time at all and regain all their lost health. If they want to keep the same rate of healing, what they'll want to do is add a timer for uh, the healing so it takes time to apply the stim pack, stuff like that. Or just reduce the healing rate of the stim pack. I would be okay with, with either really. Now that we have like a good PvP system set up, let's move on to co-op, because this is a good way to counter people that really want to PvP, is to group up with other players. So, for good co-op, you're going to want to add a push-to-talk hotkey. Uh, this doesn't just apply to co-op, but it's really important here. Second, add a text chat. Not everyone has a mic, you need to be able to communicate, and those stupid emotes won't cut it. After that, if you want people to team, you have to create incentives for them, so better loot, better drops, stuff like that, or just to defend off players that want to kill you. Just some sort of incentive to work together. And that really rounds out my gameplay changes with those things. I think that Fallout 76 could be solid right there. It would be a good game. But let's go the extra mile, alright? Let's add to that. Let's start with the player, okay? First off, remove the perk deck. It's not fun, it's boring, it creates an infinite loop of just leveling and being bored out of your mind. After that, set up a level cap. Don't let players level up indefinitely, this causes issues. This also incentivizes players to build multiple characters and it increases the replayability of the game. 
If you want this game to be popular, like all your other games like Skyrim, Fallout 4, it's got to have replayability, and that's one good way to add it. Along with that, you could bring back the old skill system and the special system. Those systems were very good, there were no issues with that. For some reason, Bethesda thinks that those systems were clunky and overcomplicated. I think they were very basic and very primitive, but they were very good at that. The poster in Fallout 4 was better than the perk deck system, I'll give it that, but it was still terrible compared to the old skills plus specials. Now this isn't scrapping the perks, and that's actually my next thing is that you still do get perks in that system, but you gotta make them more interesting. The plus 10% this, plus 10% that, that's okay once in a while, but if that's all you have, it gets boring really fast. You gotta have things like Lady Killer and Cannibal, to name a few. Those perks were phenomenal. They let you do things that just the plus 10% doesn't do. If you just have those kind of perks, it just becomes a numbers game and it's no fun. So bring those back increase the needs and dehydration slightly. Now this doesn't need to be overkill, but I found that right now you only need to eat and drink about like once a day. That's kind of unrealistic, but really this is more of just my personal taste. Along with that, have permanent limb damage. Come on guys, after you leave a firefight, your limb decay doesn't stick around. Why? If I get my head crippled in a firefight, how come that doesn't stick around after the fight's over? I don't get that. Along with that, diseases and mutations only last a certain amount of time. Why? This creates interesting gameplay, guys. If you have a limb that's damaged, then what are you going to do next? You're going to want to find something that heals it. Or if you get a disease, you want something to treat it, unless maybe you like it, in which case you want to keep it. Like the mutations, some of them are really fun, and maybe you'll want to keep them around forever. But again, with that, they really should have negative buffs and positive buffs, too. So that way, they're not just good or bad, they have both. This again creates consequences, uh, something that's really prevalent in Fallout. Moving on from the player changes, we need to talk about weapons. These are kind of important as well. Uh, right now, the way they're implemented currently, they're boring. So first off, to fix that, remove the level requirements and instead tie it into the skills that I talked about before. So if you have a high enough gun skill, you can use it. Stuff like that. It's really basic. Tie in the attachments to crafting skills, like repair and science, stuff like that. And tie in weapon effectiveness to special, so if you're the higher special, the more damage you do, stuff like that. Really, really basic changes, easy to do for weapons. Because right now the gunplay is really good, the guns feel really solid, it's just that you can't use them. Moving on from weapons, let's talk about the rest of the loot and the economy as well that's behind it. I want varied loot distribution. Right now it's really boring. I get it, the map is big and stuff like that, and some places need to be higher leveled than others, but currently I'm sick. I'm sick of finding pipe pistols, stuff like that. So this includes locations and NPC loot lists as well, so if I'm killing a super mutant, they should have different things on them instead of just pool cues. I'm sick of finding pool cues and boards on super mutants, and that being the only thing. Oh, hunting rifles as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just sick of pipe weapons and leather armor all over the place. They need to create diversity. Like I get it, the pipe weapons do a lot of things, but that's exactly their issue. They need to be split up into different weapons, so uh, like bolt action pipe weapons should not be the same as automatic pipe weapons and the pistol pipe weapons and the revolver pipe weapons, you know? It's just tiring, you know? It's draining. Same with the leather, I'm sick of seeing leather everywhere. That's just a personal thing, I don't know how they'd get around that one, but again, more diversity in armor. Along with that, create better clothing. The clothing right now is lame, they have this system right now where you can overlay all your armor with whatever clothing you want, so it looks like they're trying to go for Fashion Out 76, but right now it doesn't feel like that, really it's just all the clothing is lame, you get like a letterman's jacket, and it's boring, it looks... It looks boring, like the models for them are lame, I don't know why. Just fix their models, fix their textures, the... Honestly, the models were way better in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. They just looked cool, these look lame. Fix it, and that'll really make people more interested in getting loot. Like, I'm, I'm seriously not kidding. Next, we need to fix the bottle cap economy. Uh, you go in and you get a pipe weapon and you sell it for one cap, like what the heck is that? Okay, I get it, it's a pipe weapon, 
but fine, I found a 44 revolver and I only could sell it for four caps. It feels like I'm playing Fallout Shelter. Seriously, with when I'm trading stuff, it feels like I'm playing Fallout Shelter. Like I'm feeling playing a mobile game, it's so grindy. Fix the loot economy, it's just terrible. Just terrible, terrible, terrible. And again, not too hard to fix, just increase the caps. And if you're changing the caps, don't allow players to fast travel from anywhere on the map. Tie it in to a Witcher 3 signpost system where you have an item on the map that you have to go to and from there you can travel. Take the bottle caps out of it, say like it's a bike somewhere or something and you have to have fuel to use it, so you have to scavenge fuel. But it feels like the bottle cap system along with the current bottle cap economy, it just feels really pay to win and very, very mobile game-like. Take it out. Just less junk and better loot. I get it, the junk's important, but all you find is junk and it gets really annoying. Like, it feels like they took everything else in favor of junk. Change that, really. And honestly, the way the creation kit is set up right now, that wouldn't be too hard to do. You don't have to manually place everything. There's a few things that are hard placed, but other things are just level lists again, so really not that hard to fix. All right, so hang in with me. I got two more points I really need to make. Next is the camp. Uh, I really have no problem with it the way it is. There's a few things that could be changed. Remove the camp exploits. Right now you can have people, you can build like a tower up in the sky and then have people go up there with you. Then you delete the floor and then kill them through gravity. That's really shouldn't be there and it's annoying. Next, add some physics to building. You shouldn't be able to make like these weird Minecraft towers, you know? It's just so unimmersive. And to finish off this list of long-term changes, I want to talk about lore. Bethesda really needs to respect the Fallout lore. It's important to a lot of players, and they can't just go back and change things, like adding the Brotherhood of Steel. I get why they did it for marketing purposes. I get it, the Brotherhood of Steel is cool. But why not just add like a different military faction that's interesting, you know? Along with that, don't be afraid to create new lore instead of just borrowing stuff from uh, West Coast Fallouts. You know, make your own stuff. Brotherhood's cool once again, but enough is enough. And this next point kind of ties in as well. Just create new factions. It's really not too difficult. Be creative instead of just trying to, you know, grab people's money. Other than that, that's about it. So if we have all of these changes, Fallout 76 would be a fantastic game. And even just a few of these changes would go a long way towards fixing the game. Once again, guys, I just want to say that this is my personal list of changes. I know that yours might be different, and I am really interested in hearing what you think. Go down in the comments, let me know if any of these changes appeal to you, or if you don't like any of them, just AI Elias, I don't like these changes, tell me why. What would you do different? How do you think Fallout 76 could be fixed? Anyway guys, thank you for making it to the end. If you have stayed this long, it's clear that you're a big fan of Fallout. I'm a big fan of Fallout. Go down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, like the video, it goes a long way towards helping me. And yeah guys, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. I'll talk to you guys next time.